Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and I'm going to do a tag video today. I don't often do these because I never get tagged in anything. But the bold, was it the bold? The bold book geek tagged everybody to do the uh, behind the booktube tag. I haven't done this one so I'm going to do it. So thank you to the bold book geek. I can't even say it's a bold book geek. I will leave a link to his channel down below. If you're not already subscribed to him, he's brilliant. Go and have a look. So behind the book tag. So question one, what kind of camera do you use? Well, I'm now using a Canon EOS 700D, which I bought when I came back from holiday in Tenerife yesterday. I love the camera. I love it yesterday, last year. I love the camera. I love using it for photography and for videos. I do a lot of photography as well. It's one of my hobbies. So yeah, that one. And two, what additional equipment do you use? Okay, I do have a box light um, on one side. I do have a microphone, but I haven't actually plugged it in yet because I forgot about it. So I'm going to try it again in a minute, but on another video. Um, but yeah, so really it's just the light and the camera at the moment. Number three, scripted or structured? How do you plan what you say in your videos? I don't. Unless it's a tag video like this or um, a video where you're talking, yeah, just on the tag videos really, I tend to have a sort of an idea of what I'm going to say, but I don't actually structure it. I don't ever, ever plan what I'm going to say in my videos. If I'm doing a review, I speak it how I feel it at the time of of, of making the video. And the same with my book hauls and my wrap-ups. The only difference between is obviously I know what books I'm going to be talking about because I've either read them or I've read the blurb on the back. But generally, no, I just talk to the camera. I think it's more real that way. Not that there's anything wrong with people who do script um, script their, their videos because they may not be happy just chatting away, but I, I just don't care. I'll just chat to anyone, me. Um, so they're structured in the sense that obviously if it's a book haul or a wrap up or a tag, I've got a list of what I'm going to do uh, or what I'm going to talk about, but it's not structured in the sense that I actually know one that's not scripted, so I don't know what I'm going to say. Five, if you use m music in your videos, where do you find it? I don't use music in my videos. One, because I find it very distracting. And two, in a lot of cases, people who use music, and I'm not going to name any, any names at all because I can't bother to figure out which ones it is because I've got so many booktubers on my feet, is sometimes the music is too loud for the video and you can't hear what they're saying. I mean, I don't mind it at the beginning of a video, although I, I just want to get into the video. I'm not really bothered about any opening credits and titles. I want to know what you think about books. I don't really care about that part of the video. Sorry, you guys that take ages to create these things at the beginning. It's not for me. Six, how do you make up your thumbnails? Uh, sometimes I don't bother. Sometimes I will use the thumbnail that's on the on YouTube. Um, if I remember, I do take a picture of the books or the theme of the video if I can find my cable release because I took it on holiday with me and I don't know where it is. Um, but yeah, so I generally just take some pictures and I, I don't put words on them. If I want to put words on them, I'll either use pick monkey or uh, photoshop elements i think i'm on 11 or 13 i'm not even sure anymore which one it is but i've got a photoshop on my computer so that's that so i don't really do a lot obviously <laughs> what do you use to edit your videos i use a pc um i don't use a mac I, I don't like macs very much i'm sorry i just don't i just don't get on with them my parents got one it's all right but I don't like it. I'm a PC girl. Um, so I use an editing program that was free that I downloaded from the internet, which is called VSDC Free Video Editor. Does everything I need it to. You can put music in, you can put pictures, you can, yeah, everything you want, you, you can do with it. So I find that's enough for me. I know how it works. It does more than I do with it. I just need to play with it a bit more. Any tips and tricks or hacks when editing? Not really. No, I don't edit a lot. I literally chop off the beginning and the end where I'm usually got my face right up in the lens because I'm fiddling with the, the settings. Um, and that's about it really. If I make um, a mistake in the chatting, yes, I might edit out a little bit, um, but very, very, and I keep saying, um, no, I don't, I don't edit a lot. Um, See, I'm doing it again. I just find it's just too time consuming. I'd rather be spending the time that I could be editing, reading books. I even got a load of photographs I need to edit that I took on my holiday last June and I still haven't edited them. And Cardiff Castle and January, February's holiday unedited. I've started but I haven't finished. 
so I'm just as bad with my normal photography as well so that's fine. Now what makes a good video from a production standard uh, or standpoint? A production standpoint I suppose as long as it's most of the time in focus and it's got some decent lighting whether it's natural light from a window or you film outside or you use a box light like I do that's fine if you're using sound as long as the sound isn't too loud if you're using music like I said sometimes it can be too loud and distracting um, that to me makes a good editing I mean I do put pictures up here if I've got been reading a book on my Kindle rather than a physical book and I haven't got anything to hold up I think that's how there's nothing worse about talking about and you can't put a picture in I've got one of those coming up in my wrap-up but there you go so yeah that's all the questions actually on the behind the booktube tag you haven't really learned anything about me I might have to do one of those 25 non bookish things you know about don't know about me or something uh, just so that you can learn a bit more about me but uh, that is it from the behind the booktube tag I am going to tag Hannah Tay I don't think you've done this one so can you do it please and the big head bookworm because I'd like to see what you use I know you use natural light a lot which I like so that's it from me on this tag video I hope you've enjoyed it if you have obviously leave a comment down below let me know what you use and uh, obviously share subscribe and like this video and I will see you soon